Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Monday, October 26th. And so, friends, we begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa. <clears throat> they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command, and all the stars obey. I sing the goodness of the Lord that filled the earth with food. He formed the creatures with his word, and then pronounced them good. Lord, how thy wonders are displayed, wherever I turn my eye. If I survey the ground I tread, or gaze upon the sky. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage? and enter the presence of God. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread, by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, where is your God? These things I will remember as I pour out my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you, from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mazar. Deep is calling on deep, in the roar of waters, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day, the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night, I will sing to him. Praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father in heaven, when your strength takes possession of us, we no longer say, Why are you cast down, my soul? So not so... Now that the surging waves of our indignation have passed over us, let us feel the healing calm of your forgiveness. Inspire us to yearn for you always, like the deer for running streams, 
until you satisfy every longing in heaven. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. Come to our aid, O God of the universe. Put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know, as you know, that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather all the tribes of Jacob, that they may merit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has, ta there he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To enlighten the world, Father, you sent to us your word as the Son of truth and justice shining upon mankind. Illumine our eyes that we may discern your glory in the many works of your hand. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. When I found your words, I devoured them. They became my joy and the happiness of my heart, because I bore your name, O Lord God of hosts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Sing a new song to the Lord. Give him the praise that is due. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. 
Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Our Savior has made us a nation of priests to offer acceptable sacrifice to the Father. Let us call upon him in gratitude. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. Christ, eternal priest, you conferred the holy priesthood on your people. Grant that we may offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Father. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. In your goodness, pour out on us the fruits of your Spirit, patience, kindness, and gentleness. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. May we love you and possess you, for you are love, and may every action of our lives praise you. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. May we seek those things which are beneficial to our brothers without counting the cost to help them on the way to salvation. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. Gathering these prayers and our praises and calling to mind the intentions of our hearts, calling to mind all of the people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for. We now lift up our voices using those sacred words of Jesus himself as together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty Father, you have brought us to the light of a new day. Keep us safe the whole day through from every sinful inclination. May all our thoughts, words, and actions aim at doing what is pleasing in your sight. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And again, friends, thank you for joining me for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. And whether you are out and about or whether you are staying in today, remember, friends, to be safe today. Remember to be healthy today. But above all, remember to be holy today. All right, may God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And I hope that you have a beautiful day.